A wrapper is a Max for Live device that lets you use a third-party plugin as if it was an Ableton native one. That way you won't have to open the plugin's GUI every time you want to change a parameter, and you will be able to interact. MIDI Map and automate every parameter more easily. With this pack, you will get the wrappers for the universal audio effects. 24 right now, though I might add more wrappers in the future as UAD releases them. My wrappers mimic all the functions of the plugins. You can turn a knob, move a fader, click a button, but where they really shine is here, as you can see, the VU meters react to the audio, as well as the LEDs. The elements move exactly like the plugins, for example the tapes turn, or the speakers on the waterfall rotary rotate and the mic position changes. Also, the mics and chambers in the Hitsville chambers. And not only that, any other feature in the plugins is present in the wrappers too. For instance, when you click the I button on the Hitsville chambers, it shows all the info like in the plugin. Or for example, the LED screen in the Lexicon 224 shows the actual parameters, and even in the options you can select if you want the parameters to be visible for 3 seconds or forever, just like the plugin. Or the LED screens in the Galaxy tape show the values even when changing the tempo in sync mode. The double knobs on the Neve 1073 also work just fine. Or other functions like clicking on a label or number to set a parameter to its default position. Or the mid-slash-side solo function of the Hitsville Mastering EQ when clicking a parameter in mid-slash-side mode and unlinked parameters. Everything works just like the plugins. I tried to keep the wrappers as close as I could to the plugins, although in some cases, I had to redesign the GUI in order to fit in the live space. For example, the modules in the API Vision are horizontal instead of vertical, and the Hitsville Mastering EQ shows only one channel. To access the right or side channel, you have to click at this label. I only added three things. The first is the wrench icon to open the plugin window, usually located at the right side of the wrapper. This way you can still open the plugin window and select a preset. For example, any change made in the plugin window will also get reflected on the wrapper. If for some reason that is not the case and the wrapper and the plugin are not showing the same information, click on the refresh icon. This will ensure the wrapper and the plugin are showing the same parameters. And finally, the plugins that have sidechain options, I added this arrow icon to open the sidechain options. Finally, the performance is practically the same with the wrappers. As you can see, the CPU usage is the same for the plugin as for the wrapper. Also, the latency is also the same, so Ableton will delay compensate it correctly. Oh, and these wrappers work with Audio Unit, VST, and there are versions for both native UADX and hardware accelerated UAD too.